Give you guys a little update on the back shop while I'm here. Uh, still been cranking away at the shop, but just got a lot cleaned up. All the parts, like you guys know, but I've got so much more here now that we brought from the shop. I got to clean up all this. We got the welders. Me and Jordan want to set up the welders and get playing around, practicing, practicing some TIG welding, pick up our own little tungsten and stuff, mess around back here. So that's what we're trying to clean up this area here for. And then have a little bench, do a little bit of welding, work on our own stuff, hang out, have a good time, you know, because really cars is like all we do. I mean, we go to the skate park, but it's down the road, we can ride there. And uh, other than that, we're at the shop or we're back here cleaning and trying to reorganize and catch up so that we can we can work back here so jordan and i want to tinker and have fun on our own time so we're trying to do that trying to get this all situated we've got just a bunch of stuff we've been cleaning up this is all this is kind of actually from not the welders but all like this stuff right here is from the garage we've been cleaning in the garage too it's also full of not so much full of parts anymore but it's got the m600 in there and some cool little stuff so I just grabbed some rockers from this H22 head right here from Mario's. One of the ones off the shelf, full of heads. That's all, all heads. We got some 350Z, H series, B series, K series, D series, all of it. You know, non VTEC, VTEC, whatever you name it. We got it. It's, uh, it's fun. These are fiberglass EF doors, CRX doors. This is from the Chad. It's one of the old race cars back in the day, one of the ones that matched my dad's. But they were all cool, pretty much matching race team back in the day. There's a shirt. I don't know if it's in here, but there's a shirt with all three cars on it. I could show you if I find it one day. And yeah, yeah, you guys will get to see for sure. But uh, got those rockers all right here. I'm ready to jam, head out to the shop. Just wanted to catch up and chat with you guys for a bit, you know, take a little breather. Having a great time. Stay tuned for more. What's up, guys? So. Todd just went ahead and re o ringed Mario's for me. It's really good. So there's one continuous ring that goes from right there all the way right there. So then there's a little piece there and a little piece there. It's gonna work great. So I've got his head right here all cleaned up. Springs, retainers swapped over, or retainers and keepers all swapped over. It's ready to rip. I'm pumped about that. All right, so just got the studs all in Mario's. The axles are in Dustin's here now. It's coming together pretty good. Sean just made these tabs to mount the radiator in the rear because we kind of ran out of room up front. This other one's right here. Speed factor radiator was just right here. I think he must have it over there now, but cranking away over here. Got Mario's going together and I got the crank in this LSV tech now. Torque down, spins really good, so. These are all the parts for that. We're gonna keep moving on both these. I think I'm gonna drop the head on this sucker now and then get back onto the LSV tech once that's all torched and fully long blocked. Pumped. All right, got the head on there now. Need to put all the nuts, washers on it, torque it down. It's gonna be epic. All right, so head's all on Mario's now, torqued down. Got the thermostat on it, tight. Good O-ring in there and everything. This thing's coming together really well. Everything's almost there on the front of it here. So just need to change out these rockers, get the cams in it, time it up, valve blast it, make sure the valve blast is titties because it has definitely needed some adjustment the last time it was put together. So pretty pumped. Eric's out here killing it. You mean to get that axle out, Eric? I ain't killing it, I'm getting mad. It's in right. there. Let me grab a different hammer. Kind 
kind of like that sometimes. Wow. Yep, they just kind of like that, boss. Uh, and then it goes. Let's go forward. Yeah, they're just kind of like that sometimes, Eric. I got the oil pump on there, rear main seal, starting to get the rods going on the pistons. Mario's, I got all the rocker arm assembly all out of it, and Sean's cranking away on the radiator line stuff. He's got the radiator mounted back here, and he's building lines to come up to the front. So this thing can have a full-size radiator in with its forward-facing turbo manifold, six-inch intercooler everything you know what i mean the whole nine so it's pretty rad i'm pumped we're just cranking away here they're killing it over there as well doing all kinds of good stuff check that out over on my dad's channel pfi speed but we are slamming these engines together eric just got his completely ready to drop the motor out we got to send his off to get decked because he fire slotted it Ooh. right here he did it pretty good the block's even a little worse, so Sean's gonna go ahead and drop a few beads right there. We're gonna have this decked, and then we're gonna disassemble his block and uh, deck that as well. So we can get Eric back on the road and get him to PSEA, hopefully. He might not make it, but we're gonna try our best and get all these guys there. So, come along. All right, we're on a roll. I got the new rockers from the house. You know, empty tote all in right now. All of them in there. Okay, so tightening up the cams now. Cam seals are in there, lubed up. Cam plug is in there, lubed up. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten everything up and then valve lash it, since these are all new rockers and everything. Goose kicking butt. <laughs> Help him out here. All right, look how good looking that kid is. Um, yeah, I had yeah. something to, oh, I was seeing if you had Loctite. Yeah, it's crushing it. We're having tons of fun. We're over there on the Atom, and the Goof's getting all his stuff going. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Yes, There's your camera back. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Yep, they're kicking butt over there. I'm going to get these all tightened up, and then right before I lash it, I'm going to show you guys what I got done before I headed out yesterday. Started working on the radiator lines on the CRX, so. Get you guys up there. So we got another save here for you guys. Mario's motor does have stock cams, but I was just timing it up so we could get looking at that valve lash like we were talking about before I go show you what I was doing on the CRX. Um, but I noticed, so I already fixed it. This cam, you might see it if you go back into my other videos. I don't know if I showed the cams enough, like a good enough like spot to where you could see, but this one was rocked all the way. I mean, you can see that little light spot right there. It was rocked all the way to the ends, fully advanced. So that must have happened when he one 2 one it. And then this one has loose bolts. So it's it, it didn't move. It's still locked right there. So that is correct, but crazy. And lucky ducky. So I'm gonna grab some Loctite, Loctite these suckers. Um, tighten everything up. It's got the manual tensioner, so it's pretty easy to time this thing. And then uh, go ahead and valve lash it and show you what we got cooking. All right, so we're all timed up. Valve lash did a little loose because the cams wiped out the old rockers. So that means the old valve lash was too tight. Did a little loose. 10 and 12, be good. You know, always keep the exhaust side bigger. You know, watch your belt, pretty good. A little bit of wiggle, you know, nothing crazy, but be able to like turn it almost. It can't quite get vertical or it can't quite flip completely, but it can almost get there. You know, that's a nice tight belt. Keep it nice and snug. <sighs> yeah, this thing's coming together really well. And then we'll get onto this B-Series here in a sec. We already started matching the rods up with the pistons, but let me show you guys some real quick. All right. CRX out here. She's been in the dino bay lately. My dad's been helping me. So. 
sell. Something really cool, guys. Is I got these two lines done last night. This one from the swirl pot, right there. And then this one from the water neck down to where the bottom hose is gonna be, right there. So we were able to get the 90 on it. We didn't need the 45 to get around the fan. And then we just needed the 45 up here. It's perfect, man. Even just a little bit of a tighter angle would be a little bit better so we could, I mean, a 90 was too tight because I was hitting in all, running into all this stuff over here. But if we were just able to get this a little, little bit more, then we, would, we wouldn't be riding the boost pipe here. And yeah, it's not bad though. It's pretty sick. I'm liking it a lot. So just get a cap. I already have the two fittings to make the top one. I just need to make that top hose. I'm pretty excited though. It's looking really, really good. Coming along super, super great. So, got the boost controller in here now too. Fuel tech boost controller. Just need to pick up a CO2 bottle and start plumbing all that stuff. Wire it. I'm pretty pumped. Eric's got his motor ready to drop out. Just the engine mounts are holding it. I helped him get the axles out and stuff yesterday. He's been kicking butt working on his stuff by himself. Pretty proud of him. All right, so I got Mario's all back together. Everything's tight, pans on it, nice and clean. Timed out really well. So next thing is once Sean's done mounting, they catch the pan and all the stuff on this one here. Mario had this problem where he, he didn't really realize so we pulled it apart this last time but this bolt right here the manifold like all of these bolts on the bottom honestly weren't all the way tight and the manifold wasn't flush because this is his alternator bracket and it hits a lot right back in there so we're gonna actually go ahead and just lop this one off build a new bracket oh well same bracket but we're gonna sh make this smooth so we can weld over on this edge here we're gonna make this straight how it's supposed to be. These bolt holes should line up, top and bottom. And then we're just gonna do a straight right there. Boom. Simple, nice and tight. So everything's there with the distributor, but the distributor's not on because it broke an ear off. So we gotta get a new distributor because, or I, I could put ears on it actually. I, I can do that. That's easy stuff. So I'll put new ears on it and then get him back onto the track. All right guys, so I've been slaughtering this one, trying to keep it super clean. We got all the bottom rings gapped, two of the top rings gapped. We're working on the third top ring right now. It's like right here. Just filed it, still needs to go a little more. Eric's tearing his motor down. He just got the pistons and rods out. He's working on the crank now so he can get this thing decked and back in his whip i think he's gonna have it sleeve this time and he's going for a little bit more jam pretty pumped we got all the rings gapped situated organized where they need to be on the pistons and everything everything's all perfect so time to just put the rods in the vise break them all loose put the bearings in them lube them up throw them in torque everything down the um girdle and everything the caps and end caps those are all already tight got the front and rear main seals on it so it's pretty much just get the pistons and rods going in and then all the little stuff you know the head and every, all the accessories so we got most of that over there in those boxes next to where eric's been working keeping it separated this is this is what i got going on Whew. sometimes you know what i mean but it's coming together really well super clean i like it a lot it's looking great jeff over at U.S. Automotive did a great job in boring this thing and decking it. Always does a super good job. All right, I got two pistons in, doing the third right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and send that fourth slug in there. We got this cool new, I don't even know what you'd call that thing, honestly. There's a name for it. What's it say on the, this is Air P. I don't ring even know. compressor? Ring comp I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a ring compressor, but you don't it's press different. it, you just push it through. Yeah. It's so much nicer, so much smoother, faster, easier. This is the shit. They are the shit. Yeah, for sure. Hands down, these new. This is not a paid promotion? No. For ARP? No, it's not. That, it could be. It could be, but it's, it's not. <laughs> I use a lot of SRP products. Yeah. Head studs, main bolts. Yeah. 
You name it. Everything. Bolts. Everything's oh. SRP now. Everything's SRP. Even our wheel studs. Honestly, like... I feel like I should just have SRP products for life. Yeah. There's a nice spot, like right about... Where? where? Like right there? Yeah, for a nice, big old banner? A nice SRP banner. A nice SRP banner. Checking the rings really quick. That one's there. There, there. And... Perfect. We got them all? The tang's on the right side. Tang. Yep. We're back. Oh, yeah, right here. here. Yeah, we need, we need that thing first. There's a process to this. Right in. Set it. There. There right. yeah, There it is. That's it. Boom. Just no hammers right in. Nothing. No broken rings. Nothing. Just push it in. That's so cool. Give me a woody. Boom. 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 Goes boom. in perfect every time. Every time. Look. Right where it should be. All you gotta do is tighten up the caps. Torque them down. This thing's ready to go. Man, we're just knocking them out. So I need to get the K series off the stand. Mario's off the stand. Probably get Mario's off after we fix that. But. This B-Series is coming along really, really well. Everything is coming along great in the short block. Everything's torqued. Um, I didn't put the head on yet because I'm going to ask Jamie and figure out if we got studs. I don't have studs here in front of me. On my parts and everything. And in his box over here, he's just got head bolts under there. But this thing's fully built. Rods, pistons, everything. So I'm going to ask, make sure, probably put some studs in there. Might be what is needed so we'll get the that taken care of talk to jamie figure that out figure out if head studs or head bolts we'll get that torqued down get that done and then that'll be all set to jet right there i think i'm gonna go ahead and make my last radiator line and i don't even know all right so i got all my radiator lines done and tight the one from the bottom there comes around swoops up Goes right there to the filler in the water tube. And these wires are ugly. They're not going to be permanent. They're just that's how we had the starter working. Then we got the eight coming from there to here, so we can burp things properly because this is now the highest point. This was before, so this I do that every freaking time. So this was the highest point. Now this is so that's going to burp down into there. The whole system's going to bleed and. Hopefully we don't have any air pockets in our water system or any of that. I mean, it will be on methanol, so it should stay cool, but just want to hope for the best. And Oh, I'm pumped. It's coming along really well. Chris, we just talked to Chris Phillips. He's going to work up some conduit for me. It's going to come around here, cut it in half, and then we're going to use that to mount this solid. And then we're going to mount it along the bottom here and then up into the back. Over here, I have been killing it. I have been killing it, guys. So... I got another B-Series short block all together. I need to drop the K and the B off the stands, or and the H, Mario's off the stands. I'm gonna wait for Mario's until Sean fixes this, but I need to drop the K off so I can put the clutch on it, put the trainee on it, and then put it back in the motor, the axles I pointed to them, but put it back in the, in the car. What am I saying, put the motor, put it back in the motor, what? Put that in the car, tighten that all up, ship that, and then move to the next one. Uh, I got Jordans, my Q's. Um, I got Jordans, my Q's, and LSV Tech. And then this other H right here. So I have four more builds to do H, H, B Series, three H's. So I got three H's, a B Series, LSV Tech, and, uh, those will, and those will get done shortly this week. So then I can move on, hopefully, blast out the CRX next week. Is it? 31st but that's two weekends from now we got to be racing so we got some crunch time we got to hammer it out but thanks for tuning in we got another one built coming back at you later if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe down below this is Groove Built peace out
was loud.